and ladies and gentlemen it's not it's not every day that you call someone into your studio who has been one of the most dreaded terrorists of the most dreaded terrorist group in the country and i hope you don't mind it sashada sashadar choudhury also known as sasha joined the ulfa in 1984 when he was still a teenager between 1984 and 2009 he was very very actively involved in the top leadership of the ulfa not only was he a dreaded terrorist leader he called himself the foreign secretary of the ulfa and picked up the gun and led a many decade long insurgency against india with his aspiration to make assam free today sashadhar choudhury comes straight from the home ministry to my studio where he has signed a historic peace agreement in the presence of mr amit shah and the assam chief minister himant biswa sarma and let me begin by saying today sashada that i am glad i am glad as an indian and as an assamese today thank you <clears throat> about this peace agreement thank you and i am glad that you have given up the gun and you are coming into the mainstream yeah. before we take the conversation forward what is the basis of this peace agreement and why are you coming back to the mainstream after having been uh, you know underground having picked up the gun against the country what has made you change your mind what has made the ulfa leaders like you or obindo rajkwa anup chetia change your mind no no, no. basic position is the time and the history attach with the time Uh, in conclusion i cannot say in a single word why we have given up arms and why i have come to a conclusion first you have to go why you have taken up arms then this your answer will come up it was happened just after the in a wake up assam movement day by day innocent students innocent peoples were killed in the, who were involved in this very non violent movement at the time and we were very teenager laugh to the nationals there and to some extent what you say um, which an young age we were and at that time this proposition has come up the joining ulfa that means take up arms because everything has happened in the haste of the central government and at that at the time the state government uh, that both were also at that time the whole indian government same government 850 people have laid their life only because they are involved in a very for a very just cause and non violently so we thought that non violent movement will not give us anything so we took to up arms how Then, did you how did you take up arms tell me i mean when you when you were uh, part of ulfa and there were kidnappings and extortions you see that were being carried out no no i am do you, you do you today regret No, no. Do you that is today the regret the, the violent acts that, that you carried you out through let those me, decades? Yeah. Let me explain. So we went to first to Nagas. We got training there. We Where got, did you get your training? Uh, from it, Nagaland, at Kasinland, and so on. So you went to Myanmar. Yeah. So you went from Assam to Nagaland. You crossed the border, and you were being trained in arms in North Myanmar. In North Myanmar, no, it is in the China border. In the China border. Border. Where in the ch- across the China border? It is Kasin land, no. They are headquarters. It is in the jungle base. They were at that time. So it is Chinese territory. No, it is in the Myanmar territory. Hmm. It is a very long, long ago. Who was giving 19, you the terrorist training? Kasin, Kasin, Indian army is there still fighting there in. They have given us the training. Why were also. they giving you training? No, we have taken up training for them at the later on. They have. any how make very diplomatic and different government of india also taking ulfa as a trump card and so let alone 